Hello, welcome back to Bureaucrat. Today I have a kind of different video for you, my dog is here too. It is, as you can see from the title, a bit of a personal story. Um, what people don't tell you about iron deficiency and how I found out, and you probably think, why make a video on this? I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that maybe my story could help other people. Big disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not saying you should go check it out. I'm not saying you have eye deficiency. I wrote down 10 symptoms and most of these could be easily explained. Of course, not making excuses, but you know, they could be easily explained. So I figured uh, maybe if anyone feels like they might have eye deficiency, you know, ask a doctor about it. I would just start with my very quick story. I went to the doctor last year uh, because I had earwax and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get it out. Not by myself, not with Q-tips, not with eye, eye drops, but with eardrops go to the doctor. So I went and then I asked him because, you know, I'm a vegetarian and you always hear those things that vegetarians don't get enough vitamin B12 and they don't get enough vitamins and vegans too and you don't have any, uh, what's the other thing? Protein. No. So I asked him and he was like, yeah, well, I can prescribe you some pills, you know, vitamin B12 pills, but we could also do some blood work. And I was like, okay, well, why not? I'm not really keen on blood work because I don't like needles, but I was like, okay, I mean, you know, maybe you see something more from blood work than from just diagnosing it face to face. So everything went well, uh, you know, despite me being afraid of needles. The results came back and I have an iron deficiency. I think normal numbers for iron is between 110, 120, something like that. And I, I don't remember how much I had, but it was clearly below that. Otherwise I wouldn't have an iron deficiency. And of course, the lower the numbers are, uh, the more you are at risk for having an iron deficiency obviously, and the more dangerous it could get. Um, so yeah, I have to take pills now every other day. It's not pleasant. It's not nice. Honestly, it's not. It's not. If you want to, I will make another video on what people don't tell you about iron pills because it's not nice. I can tell you. I wrote down 10 common symptoms. I wrote down the 10 uh, most common ones and then you can guess how many of those 10 I had. And then I'll also tell you my not my excuses, but the reasons behind it, why I didn't see it as an undefeasy, why I didn't see it as being dangerous, you know, so we're just gonna get started. In no chronological order, you know, just because it's on number one doesn't mean it's the worst symptom. Number one is headaches. And that is not just a headache every three months, but just like constant headaches. Number two is a cold hand and feet. Uh, or aka you always feel cold no matter how warm it is, no matter if you have the heating on or if you have an electric fan or a heating fan, obviously, you're always cold. Mostly your hands and feet. You have trouble sleeping, uh, falling asleep, staying asleep, like having a deep sleep, and you also have fatigue. So despite how much you sleep at night, you're always tired in the morning. Uh, despite how well you slept, you're always tired. You always find yourself yawning in the middle of the day, even though you are kind of in a good mood, in a good shape. Number five. Uh, thin nails and hair that are prone to break in. And if you remember, I told about my hair being very thin over here. Yes, so thin nails that just rip off, you know, that you can just pull off like this, or that are always just breaking off, even without doing anything. Weight gain is a symptom. You know, like, not from like one day to the other, but just over the period of a short amount of time, you gain a lot of weight. It could be a symptom. Uh, it could be a symptom for Iron deficiency, obviously. Cut in or open mouth sides. You know, like the side of your mouth over here? That was just, yeah, looks like. Just cut in, that hurts like, fuck. I can tell you, it hurts so much. And no matter what you do, you can't get it too close. So it hurts, even when speaking, it hurts as a symptom. I think that's one of the most severe symptoms. You know, I mean, if you have cut in lips and it, it's not going away, it is already severe. Another thing is that you have trouble breathing. Just by uh, walking just for a little bit, like, you don't even have to run. You know, just an easy task that makes you feel out of breath, that literally has you breathing like crazy. Uh, I had that, I, when my boyfriend lives, I, I mean, there's an elevator. I tend not to take it because, you know, it's, you know, I rather take the stairs. And it's just like two flights of stairs. And when I arrive, I'm out of breath. I am kind of fit, you know. I'm not running a marathon or something, but, you know, I can walk, I can do sports, I do sports. But even just walking up, out of breath. Another one is that you are pale white, um, or maybe not pale white, but rather pale. You don't look healthy, you don't have rosy cheeks. That's a symptom. And the last symptom that, that I wrote down is heart problems. So beating too fast, beating not fast enough, um, just from one moment to the other you have you know, heart raising and stuff like that. So that's it. Um, 
Again, like I said, there are a few more, but those are the 10 most common ones. And now you can guess out of those 10, how many I had. Nine. Nine out of 10. Holy moly. Um, I didn't have uh, any health problems, thank God, because that would have probably been Of course, like when I had too much caffeine, my heart started to race, but that's normal. I cannot really stand caffeine. I will just quickly give you my explanation for everything. Again, I'm not making excuses, but to me, it never came down to iron deficiency. It came down to other things. Let me just go through the list one more time. Headaches, stress. I think my main explanation for everything was stress. You know, you can get headaches from tense muscles over here that are very tense, you know, from always like this. Uh, you can get headache from looking at the screen too long, you know, your computer, your phone, uh, from... Here it is. Uh, from grinding your teeth at night. He's slowly, slowly falling down, oh my goodness. Sliding down, there you go. Um, you can get headache from dry eyes. You can get a headache from just clenching your jaw together, you know, you can get headaches from a lot of things. And let's be real here, if you think about headaches or where your headache comes from, you probably don't think about iron deficiency. You can even get a headache from not eating enough. See, so it was never my first initial thought that it was iron deficiency. The cold hands and feet, it is winter. When I found out I have an iron deficiency, it was winter. My fans, my fans, my hands are generally cold, my feet too. Like, I, I, I didn't make the connection. You know, it's winter, it is cold. I have cold hands. Also, I don't wear gloves, so, you know. Fatigue and trouble sleeping. I stay up late at night. Uh, I'm too often on my phone, even in bed, so I have trouble falling asleep. I never really had a deep sleep. Uh, and of course, because I go to bed late, I am fatigued in the morning. I'm tired. I, I can barely get up. See, I had an easy explanation for everything. A thin and prone to break an ASMR. Of course, that would have probably been the indicator, but then again, stress. Uh, uh, not eating healthy enough, not eating a lot. Um, Skipping meals, which I did, like, I'm guilty of that. I've always had prone to breaking nails. My dad, too. So weight gain, now, of course, I don't work out as much as I used to when I was younger. I don't play football anymore. I I mean, I do work out, I do yoga, but, but that's it. So, And I also like eating, so, you know, weight gain is normal. I gained a lot of, I gained a lot of weight in the past month. Although, I feel like my skill is broken, because this does not look... At least, I think, my my, my face looks skinnier and slimmer than it did before, but I somehow weigh more. I need a new scale. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, weight gain. Stress again, uh, just loving food, not knowing when to stop, um, binge eating, eating when you're bored. You have, like, eating too much fast food, eating too much sugar and too much salt and too much fat, too much carbs. I had an explanation for it. Again, it sounds like I'm making excuses, but it's just, I had an explanation for everything. Cut in an open mouth size, well, of course. Again, it was winter, my lips were dry in the first place, very chapped, so I figured, well, okay, it's just, you know, it's a mouth size, it belongs to the lips, it's normal, it's winter. Uh, trouble breathing, that I led back to my weight gain. So, you know, I've, I've never had the best condition, if you know what I mean, like, we went running in football, obviously, and that was off-season, and we just went for a run, and I was always the last one. <laughs> like, I just, I was good at football, I was good at playing football, but running through the whole city, that's not for me. I was always the last one. I was out of breath. I was sweating. I had a red face. Running is not for me. Football, where you do sprints and tackles and you have to think like a tactic, how you do this. That was nice, but running? Mm -mm. Sprint, I was always good at. Running, pale white, I'm always pale white. As my friends, as my family, I'm always pale white. This is what people deal with every single day. <laughs> Minus the concealer, but still, I'm always pale white. You know, figured it's my complexion. If I go to the beach, if I go on a summer holiday, I always get red. No matter how many bottles of sunscreen I put on, I'm always red. I'm like Mr. Krabs. And yes, I didn't look healthy, but then again, I didn't get enough sleep. I was tired. It all makes sense to me. And then, um, heart problems. I didn't have heart problems. Thank God, like I said. So, as you can see, I had an explanation for everything. Call excuse. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying that. If you have this symptom, you have under deficiency. But if you maybe have like two or three of these, get your subject out. It's not that difficult. It's not like a major, major surgery. It's not an intense examination. Get blood work done. I know how intense blood works are though. I feel you. Needles. Needles freak me out so much. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, get it done. Get your subject. Let's make 2019 the year where we take care of ourselves. Depending on how your under deficiency is, you, I mean, you usually get 
medications, what, you get pills or you get those sachet things that you can just, you know, drink or swallow, you know what I mean? Um, I have to take it every other day, which is so good because some people have to take it every day. And like I said, those pills are no fun. Don't you? No fun. So if you want a video on that, let me know. It's going to be TMI. It's going to be very <laughs> disgusting, but if you want it, yes, I will, I will do it. Yeah, let me know if you have any undefeated problems or any just any health problems that you didn't know about that you were surprised that you had, you know what I mean? Um, like, I don't know, what could you have that you didn't know about? Um, diabetes. A lot of people don't know they have diabetes until it's almost too late, you know what I mean? Heart problems, you know, where it's not beating the correct way and it's beating too fast all the time and you didn't know that, you, you thought it was just stress. You know, just let me know. I'm interested in that. Is that, is that weird? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think about under deficiency. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Oh yeah, subscribe to my channel already. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in my next video.